Welcome to Miller Moves Homes. I'm James Miller with Howard Hanna. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing, like, and share my page. Today I'm here with Rick Paul. He is the owner operator of Castle Home Inspections. So he does the home inspections and also uh, the VA uh, pest control inspections, which are uh, they're something that has to be done if there's a VA buyer in place. Lenders uh, ask for it and sellers are the ones that are responsible for payment. So, Rick, thanks man. Yep. Pleasure to be here. It's been a long time. Yeah. yeah. Seen you twice in the past week, I think yeah, it is. Exactly, exactly. So usually when, when I go and show houses to my clients, uh, I typically tell them they are there to learn how their house functions uh, and then, you know, with the inspection. So learn how the house functions, uh, safety, structure, and health. Right. So what are, first of all, when I'm taking th people through the house and we're looking at homes, what is it that they should be looking for? What are some items that are maybe flags or that we need to pay attention to? Uh, things along those lines. Well, I think that the, the average uh, buyer that's going through a house is probably kind of starstruck because um, I don't think they're really seeing things. But the biggest thing that to stick out would be obviously um, you know, obviously, if you're in the basement and it smells musty or you see water down there, uh, that would be a red flag, obviously. Um, and then as they're going through the house, um, you know, structural issues, you know, cracks or, or whatever, generally around doorways and windows, those, those can usually, you know, point to, um, you know, some kind of issues or whatnot. Uh, but generally, from my experience, when somebody goes through a house, they really, I really don't think they see or on their first time through, they really don't, I don't think they see exactly the things that they should be seeing. You know, that's why, you know, you would hire somebody like me to come in and take a look at it because I'm going to get into it in, in depth for sure. Right. You know, they're kind of walking around and they're thinking about, you know, the couch over here because I see it when I'm doing home inspections. You right. Know? At yeah. the time, they're like, hey, you got a tape measure? And they're measuring for a couch or a refrigerator or whatever. So I don't think they're initially seeing things unless they're like really standout issues. Right. You know, obviously, like I said, water, a musty smell in the basement, you know, things of that nature. That's an excellent point because when we are seeing homes, so many buyers get, you know, the excitement. Uh, it's more about aesthetics uh, than a number of other items, of course. You know, they're wanting to see if the floor plan works for them, exactly. uh, if they like the location, <laughs> if they like the style of house. But they're sometimes looking past some of those items. And right. That's why we set them up with having a professional home inspection. And along with that, what, what else is it that you do? So you do the... VA pest. I do the yeah the termite inspections or the WDI, and I also do uh, state license radon testing. Um, that's kind of a you know just another thing that you know some people want it, some people don't. I think one of the customers we worked with last week had, wanted to have one of those. Right. Um, but um, yeah, and then I just I, I I show up and I just do a real thorough home inspection for people. You know we've worked together before. Oh yeah. You know I'm there like you said. You know I'm I'm not only there to point out the bad things or the issues, but I'm there to show people how to open the, the tilt in windows, you know, uh, operate the furnaces, you know, operate all the things. There's a lot of times, especially with the first time home buyer, um, they just don't have that knowledge of, of a house. They've been living in an apartment or a rental or whatever, or still living at home. So it gives me an opportunity to like really show them, you know, this is how you operate this house. This is, this is how this works. This is how that works. You know, sometimes inspections take a little longer because you get someone who's just asking a, a ton of questions, which that's what I'm there for, you know? Right, which is, again, you're hitting some great points because I've been on inspections where the inspectors have literally told the clients that they will be with them when they're all done and that they need to focus on doing the inspection. I love the fact that Rick will do the inspection, invite the people to come along with them, and at, in, it pretty much says, please ask questions. You know, so he can walk them through. Your typical inspection takes around three hours, but you know, if you are needing more and more information, Rick's definitely gonna spend the time with you to be able to make sure that you are knowledgeable and you are safely 
uh, put into a house that is going to be uh, in good condition. Uh, and then following that, we do all the removal of contingencies after inspections. Uh, what does it take to be an inspector? Uh, well, you have to be state licensed now. It, it, the state licensing process is kind of still, with COVID and everything, it's, it's still kind of in the process. They're, they're putting together the, um, the guidelines for uh, continuing education, things of that nature. Um, I personally... Um, uh, I have some background in the building industry. I built several homes. Um, I've done a bunch of remodels. Um, I worked for years um, in municipal sewers and um, and plumbing or whatnot. And then um, you know I kind of decided to get into it. So I took um, it was 120 hours of classwork, and then I spent four days down in Akron um, just walking through inspections with with like you know inspectors. I think they were coming from Wisconsin or whatnot. So um, and then once the licensing came on uh, came came on board recently. Um, I grandfathered into that because I had met, you know, a handful of requirements, you know, for my education, uh, insurance, and things of that nature. So, but now you have to, um, uh, you have to be a state licensed uh, inspector in the state of Ohio now. And like I said, they're still working on some things with um, CE and stuff like that. They're pretty much going to mirror um, the American Society of Home Inspectors requirements, which is what I inspect to. Right. So, which everybody's kind of, you know, figuring that's going, you know, going to happen or whatnot. But uh, and then as far as licensing for uh, termite and wood destroying insect, I'm sorry, um, that's through the uh, Department of Agriculture, and then radon testing is through the Ohio Department of Health. So, okay. And you go get the class work, and you take the test, and radon's three days in Columbus, and a day and a half worth of testing or right. whatever. But um, right now, how far out are you typically looking for when you're contacted to do an inspection to when you can actually perform it? Generally within a week, my schedule is kind of odd. Um, you know, like what is today? Today's Thursday. You know, for next week, I have one appointment set up for next week, but by the end of the day on Sunday, I'll probably have three of them set up. Right. Because you know how it is. They, they call you and it's like, hey, I just signed a deal on a house, or I signed a deal on a house three days ago and I need a home inspector. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because it, following your, once you have a, an accepted contract, so you're under contract, you know, your purchase agreement's all set up, you're doing everything with your lender, you've got to get the home inspection scheduled because the average is about zero to seven days to have the home inspection done. Then after you get the report from the home inspection, you have three days to be able to go back and request for items to be repaired or replaced walk away from the deal or renegotiate uh, asking for some reductions or deduct deductions uh, or monies towards closing costs or a price decrease on the purchase of the home. Those are some great things and making sure that you have a, an inspector as yourself that uh, is knowledgeable, a non-alertist and willing to spend the time and you can always follow up down the road. I've had clients reach out to me and say, hey, what's Rick's number? I lost it. This is a year or so out. And they want to talk to them about some of the items in their house to get educated on it, how they can do things. So, yeah, anything else you want to add? or? Um, no, not really. I mean, I just, you know, we dis you discussed earlier, you know, the things that, you know, the, the people are looking for when they're going through a house. The things that I'm primarily concerned with when I go through a home inspection is obviously um, functionality of all the systems. You know, people don't, you know, people think of a, it's a driveway. No, it's a system. You know, it's a sidewalk. No, it's a system. It's a deck. No, it's a system. You know, so I address those things, you know, kind of piece by piece according to my inspection process and then identify, um, you know, the shortcomings of them or things that are, that are going wrong. Um, so then I do that you know, consistently throughout my inspection. You know, there's the furnace, there's the electrical, I mean, there's all the systems, you know, the wood, the structures, the system, you know. Um, and then uh, safety issues is another big thing I take a look at, you know, because you've got people coming in with young kids, you know, there's there's always staircase issues, you know, there's always uh, uh, smoke alarm issues, CO issues, things of that nature. So I, I, I really kind of address that, and it's funny because when I'm doing my report, you know, I usually have a pretty good hit list as far as safety issues go right. in a house. And I think that's important, um, you know, especially, like I said, when you've got kids or even just, um, you know, even just a couple that's moving into, you know, they need to know that, you know, that should be a, that should be a tempered glass window because if somebody trips at that doorway, right. if, if it's not a tempered glass window, there's going to be an injury. Yeah. And it's funny because I came across a woman, um, it was earlier this year, I was pointing out a door to her and... Um, I made the comment, you know, this should be tempered safety glass, and she showed me a scar on her cheek. 
and she said, I fell through a glass window at my grandma's house when yeah. she was like four years old. I'm like, wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why they came up with them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, and I focus, like I said, a big thing on the functionality and a big thing on um, the safety issues right. around the house. Yeah. You know. Awesome. That, I really appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, again, home inspections. Rick Paul, Castle Home Inspections. Easy. There you go. Uh, he does the home inspection, pest inspection, radon. You do moisture readings also? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I can take moisture readings, yeah. Yep. Because we had the one over in Royalton yeah. that we looked at. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, it's, you know, very simple. Uh, taking the stress out of purchasing a property is one of the things that I'm always trying to do. Uh, and being able to give you a reliable resource for home inspection is one of those things that uh, I offer also. So if there's not anything else, Rick, again, I really appreciate you coming out and spending the time with me today. My pleasure. Uh, if you don't see me enough, you know. <laughs> so again, thanks for checking out Miller Moves Homes. I'm James Miller with Howard Hanna. And remember, if you'd like to subscribe or share, please do so. Thanks and have a great day.